one and then two on the yeah. <laughs> Perea number eight after after not being on the radar. Yeah, I mean we can start there. Crazy. Speaking of Perea, did you see what he recently said about Izzy? And as of recently, I mean this morning, what he said? No. Or actually, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. When was he on? That was so wrong. When was he on Ariel's the MMA Hour? It might uh, have been the like Monday, Monday after, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, oh wait, wasn't he on like a couple of days ago? Yeah, like Monday. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Was it? Yeah. Oh, it was this Monday. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, like yeah, a couple yeah, days yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. He. He was saying, like, oh, I don't think I'm going to fight Izzy again because I just don't want to ruin this guy's career. He's like, I can't beat him again. He's like, if he wants to fight me, I'll fight him. But he's like, I'm not going to seek out fighting him again because he's like, I respect him. I'm not going to ruin his career. I'm like, that's the most backhanded compliment. I was like, not even compliment, like backhanded, like, like, I don't even know. It's so backhanded, very passive. Yeah, he didn't strike me as the kind of guy to, you know, be like that. But whatever. I mean, hey, I think it's a really interesting fight. He hates Brendan Schaub, too. Yeah, yeah, you were saying that. Oh, that yeah, I saw that. They were talking, hates, some, yeah. talking some shit about Ariel was well, like, I don't think, I don't think boy. Ariel was saying, I don't think he, Perea said he talked to Schaub, and then Ariel said something like, yeah, I don't think you should talk to Schaub. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were like, oh, <laughs> he said something, basically called him dumb or something, yeah. right? Well, or no, it was yeah. like yeah. Schaub said that uh, the whole the whole problem was is that Schaub said Kamzat would beat the, the shit out oh, of right. uh, yeah. Pereira. Yeah. And Pereira then was like, I don't talk to that guy. I don't like him. He doesn't know what he's doing. And then Ariel was like, yeah, I, I wouldn't take what he says to yeah. serious. He's not yeah. all there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look, I mean, we can start there. I think that my opinion that that rematch has to happen. And it, oh, yeah. to me, I kind of separate what happened in kickboxing and what happens in UFC because I just don't think that Izzy was the same fighter back then. He was time. good. <laughs> he was dominant. And he right. and legitimately... You know, yeah, he got knocked out in the second kickboxing fight uh, in glory, but the first one was a decision that most people thought he won. You know? Right. So, right. So I don't know when you th- when they talk about oh he's three and zero oh against okay yeah he's technically he is but yeah. he's pretty much beaten Izzy once if you really want to think about it because we we watch Izzy in the UFC. Right. Exactly. It is yeah. a totally different thing. I mean, what a lot of people are talking about too is you know both of their grappling skills or not. You know super on display that night or you know Pereira showed that he didn't have barely any grappling skills you know what I mean is yeah it, and that and that leads to the thing too it's like I, I don't really know the process but for him to get a brown belt based on what he did in that fa- fight to me seems just ridiculous the, I think yeah. that was like it could not have been but I thought it was like almost a legitimate joke because the whole meme was like Pereira just has to one-up Izzy in every single thing that he does. So the next day they like jokingly gave him a brown belt because Izzy's a purple belt. And Brown's I think the it one was after legitimate. Purple. And I heard Rogan talking about like what brown belts actually are and he's not a brown belt. No. no. Yeah. Like brown belts are fucking badass. And he's <laughs> yeah. not a badass on the ground. Sorry. Yeah. Not it. But I mean, he, it is pretty crazy the story of him tracking Izzy down through different, really different sports. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He beat him in kickboxing, and now he yeah. made the, made his way to the UFC, which is the pinnacle of MMA. You know what I mean? And now he is the pinnacle of, of that division. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 you know, really, I, I think that there has to be the rematch, and yeah. and why not? Why, why, why wouldn't there be? I don't know. That's yeah. just my opinion on it, and. You know, there's been a lot of shit talk by, well, there's always shit talk by, um, by what's his name, uh, uh, Chemayev, you know, well, who right. said first he wants to smash Perea and then he wants to smash Covington. Yeah. Like, okay, great. Let's, <laughs> I mean. Everyone wants a shot, right? Yeah. I mean, I think Perea, I think he's, I think, I think Perea is not going to do well against Chemayev if that's, I mean, he's going to, Chemayev's going to throw him to the ground, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's that no reason for Chimaev to stand up with him. Definitely not. No, it's Definitely not going to be. And I don't think, you know, I'm not going to say whatever. We can talk about whatever we think is going to happen. But I mean, the way Chimaev throws people around, he makes them look silly. Yeah. And Perea has got no defense for that. Yeah. No defense. For that. Yeah. I'm, and I don't think Chimaev is going to have any problem like getting to Perea with like, I mean, he's Perea's lengthy and things like that. But I don't think Chimaev would have any, any problem. I don't. Going through any I mean, there's definitely defense. a problem when you go at Perea, right? Well, right. I mean, you shoot. He's got those if knees you're coming right? at him, and he's flying. You know, he's got knees coming at you, and well, his knees long crazy, arms and elbows, yeah. and you yeah. know, crazy punches. Yeah. There's definitely a risk there, but the way Chamayev just 
attacks people and throws them to the ground. I, I just see that happening. It's right nuts. Away. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it could legitimately be a, a 30 second first round finish. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I you mean, know, who, who knows? knows? But, but I mean, it could be a, it could be another Kevin Holland situation where he just fucking throws them down and that's it. Right. It's done. You're done. You're over. Because Izzy had him on the ground, and he was keeping him on the ground. Can you imagine if somebody yeah. with the level of wrestling that Chemayev has? I know. It'd be, it might be ugly. Super ugly. So, uh, speaking of Izzy, what's next for him? Well, I mean, obviously the Brea fight, well, but what if, yeah. what if that doesn't happen? Just don't be in being what is there any other option for Izzy? No, he's, be, he's beaten everybody else. Yeah. So, yeah. I yeah, don't know. I agree. I'm looking at the division right now. I don't see anybody that he'd even consider fighting again. Yeah. I, I mean, mean Whitaker, Cannoneer, you know, Vittori wants another shot, but come on, you know. The only fight I can really Costa. even think of him being like hurt in was what Kevin Gastelum, like yeah, that was years a great ago fight. though. Yeah. I mean, like where's yep. Kevin Gastelum now? Not not in the picture. Could you see uh, them making Izzy fight Chimaev winner fights Pereira for the belt just to give Pereira a little bit of a break too? Dude, I don't know. Yeah, that would be sweet. That would be yeah. Izzy yeah, and Chimaev. I mean, I mean, that's scary for Izzy too. Scary for Chimaev though is he's a he, he's a sniper you know he he definitely stay at range a little you know I don't know yeah I mean it's it'd be a better fight for you know it'd be a better fight than Chimaev and Perea I think <laughs> yeah I don't yeah. know yeah for sure I'm still just down on Perea I don't know why but I just don't think he's whatever he's a good well, kickboxer right he was gonna lose as far as the wrestling. fight until right. the until the final I just know. think if. If he fights someone that's an actual wrestler, yeah, not Izzy, yeah, was whatever, not known for his wrestling, and exactly. obviously showed that he's not really a high level grappler in the last fight, mm -hmm. because a high level gra grappler would have finished him. Agreed. He hit him on the ground. Agreed. You know? Yeah, I mean, Izzy almost had him out in the first round too. You know what I mean? I'm, oh, five more seconds, the fight would have been over. Yeah. I think. Exactly. Oh yeah, when he popped exactly. him a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you never know. I don't know. I mean, but I mean, as far as that division goes, it's 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 basically Perea and Asanya and everybody else, in my opinion. I don't. Yeah. I don't see anybody well, that's. It doesn't seem like anyone was ever even close to Izzy, right? Until, until Pereira came along, and it was you know, like he probably loses that fight barring the last round, but you know, it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Happened. Yeah.